And also developing tonight at 9, a former D.C. police officer is now looking at spending decades in prison. A federal jury convicted him a second-degree murder late this afternoon in connection with the deadly chase that happened over two years ago. Dave Laval joins us live in the studio with the latest. And Dave, what can you tell us at the top of this hour? Tusmeen, 20 year old Karan Hilton Brown died in October 2020 as police chased him while he rode a moped. Federal prosecutors charged two officers in the case, but only one actually faced murder charges. Among the other crimes, obstruction of justice. You good? No, he's bleeding heavy. Reaction from Metro Police officers as they assess the injuries to Karan Hilton Brown after they chased him on his moped for more than 10 blocks. The pursuit ended on Kennedy Street Northwest when Hilton Brown came out from an alley and a civilian driver hit him. Hilton Brown died from his injuries two days later. Protests took place around the city. Federal prosecutors charged former officer 38 year old Taryn Sutton with second degree murder. They also charged him and another former officer, 54 year old Andrew Zabowski, with obstruction of justice and conspiracy to obstruct. Where'd that car go? Jurors found the two men drove their squad car with disregard for Hilton Brown's safety. Plus, the men conspired to hide the circumstances of the crash from investigators, according to the U.S. Justice Department. Make it make sense. Sutton could spend up to 40 years in prison for the second degree murder conviction. Both men are looking at 20 years each for obstruction and five years for conspiracy. A sentencing date has not yet been scheduled. Chris?